Here's a question for you. How do you think drinking straws work? Most of the people think that they are the one doing some kind of work in sipping up the liquid. But it isn't that simple. So how does it actually works? Well, here's a diagram I made. Right now, the pressure in the straw and on the water is equal to 1 atm or 10 to the power 5 pascals due to the atmosphere. Now when you start sucking on the straw, what you are doing is making a low pressure area here in the straw. Now the atmospheric pressure on the liquid starts working and propels the water to the low pressure area into the straw and eventually to your mouth. So imagine, you are aboard one of Elon's starship to Mars. You are out performing a spacewalk. And friend of yours passes you a juice. Somehow you work around the helmet and are able to put a straw through. Only to find out that no matter how strong you suck on that straw, the juice doesn't move, even a nanometer. Why? Because there is no atmosphere in space and hence no atmospheric pressure. And let me clear this beforehand. In a shuttle or the ISS, the cabins are pressurized to match Earth's atmospheric pressure. So astronauts can use straws in there. What I'm talking about is the real space. If we use this principle on a larger scale though, there arise some problems. Let me explain it with this example. If you have a really strong pair of lungs and you can make a complete vacuum in your mouth, the maximum height you can sip water up to is 10.3 meters, that is vertically. So where does the problem arise and why the specific number? Well, gravity comes into picture here. Simply put, due to the position of the liquid, it exerts an opposing pressure at the base. Mathematically, pressure of a column of liquid at the base is given by the formula pressure equals density of liquid which is denoted by rho times acceleration due to gravity which is denoted by small g times height of the column. After putting in the values for water, it turns out that at a height of 10.3 meters, the pressure exerted by water is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So you cannot suck water beyond that point. The height, as you can see in the formula, is inversely proportional to the density of the liquid. Therefore, maximum achievable height of denser liquids is even lower. For example, mercury at 0.76 meters max. Also, a really interesting thing to note is that the formula is independent of mass. What it means is that if you have 1 litre water or a million litres, as long as they are at the same height, they will exert the same pressure. Returning back to the original atmospheric pressure thing, here's an experiment I really like. There are a lot of explanations for this out there. But I believe that the same principle of particles moving from high pressure to low pressure works here. The candle burns out the oxygen from the confined air in this container, creating a low pressure area and the liquid moves up. You can also see that the liquid moved up approximately one fifth of this container, that is 20%, which is also the total share of oxygen in here.
if you have made it this far in the video thank you so much it means a lot also you'll surely like what's coming up next on this channel so do consider subscribing if you want to get notified when i upload a new video that being said here are some short videos i made about interesting space facts do check them out i am prani and i'll catch you again in the next one